Some of you might remember the story of this, this young man, John, who invites his mother to dinner, and during the meal, John's uh, mother can't help but notice how beautiful uh, John's roommate is. And so uh, she's long been suspicious of relationship between the two, and this only made her more curious. And watching them interact over the evening, she really wondered there was more to this relationship than met the eye. So reading uh, his mother's thoughts, the guy volunteers, he says, look, I know what you might be thinking, but I assure you that Carrie and I are just roommates, okay? About a week later, Carrie came to John and said, you know, ever since your mother came here for dinner, I've been unable to find that beautiful silver soup ladle. You don't think she did something with it, do you? So he says, I doubt it, I'll email her just in case. So he writes, dear mother, I'm not saying you did or did not do anything with the soup ladle, but it's odd that it disappeared after the dinner. Do you know anything about this? Later, he received an email from his mother that read, Dear son, I'm not saying that you do sleep with Carrie, and I'm not saying that you don't, but the fact remains that if she was sleeping in her own bed, she would have found the soup ladle by now. <laughs> so when we expect some sort of punishment, we, we shape events a certain way and we will lie for personal gain. And again, this comes, we can see it in our history. If we did not get the attention we needed, if our, if our needs were not met, then we'll use exaggeration and we'll misrepresent ourselves in order to get the attention and the approval that we are longing for. So you can see it. I mean, how many of us will exaggerate something positive, exaggerate an achievement or the kind of good feedback we got from someone, you know, the classic fish stories of how big was it, you know, we, we do that. We also pretend with each other to agree sometimes, to, we kind of mime each other in a way so that we can have more connection. So we sometimes withhold or misrepresent our, our beliefs or where we're at so that we can just be getting along and having good feelings with other people. So the suffering of this, you know, because sometimes little white lies might seem they're fine, and sometimes there's probably an intelligence to them, but the habit of misrepresenting, of withholding information, of not speaking truth, um, really in a deep way, it, it, it affects our soul. It affects the clarity and brightness of our being. Mm -hmm.